so we're here in Pattaya in the south of Thailand. It's a beautiful city and so many people are attracted here as a tourist destination. It's got tropical weather, beautiful beaches and so many bright lights and things that would attract you here. But what many of them don't realise is that a few hundred yards behind us, just over the water, there are 20,000 men, women, ladyboys and children who are being exploited in the bars each and every day. They're being forced to sell their bodies and do things that they don't want to do for money. Many of them come from the hill tribes in the north of Thailand under the guise of a new and exciting job in the city. And then they get here and realise what they've been brought into. So we're here in Pattaya, sitting on the pier. And we um, are passing out Bibles to international tourists who come in from closed countries. They come to see the lady boys on these boats over here that are actually restaurants. So they come for dinner and to see a show. And because they're international tourists, their countries are closed off and we're able to give them Bible literature to take back to their country. And every time we come, we're able to give out around 600 to 1,000 Bibles. We're out here on a street in Pattaya and um, this is what is a common scene for the streets here. There are tons of these streets that look exactly like this, um, that are just active day and night. And they're filled with um, a lot of people from Russia, America, Canada, Australia, just people from all over the world. And, um, and they're coming to escape reality. They're coming on holiday. They're coming to have a good time. Um, the appeal of sex for sale and alcohol and just the party night lifestyle is um, what really draws people in. But what you don't see whenever you're coming for that is that literally thousands of men, women, and children are selling their bodies here. And some of them are not doing it, being forced to do it. Um, others literally don't have a choice um, just because of life circumstances. Um, many of the people that are here, men, women, and children, are um, recruited from the northeast of Thailand in the hill tribes where they're promised a brighter future and a good job, and they come here seeking that. So the organization we're working with right now offers job skills to, to the girls. Just um, They can be working in restaurants, bakeries, hair salons, uh, just things like that to give them a hope of a brighter future, as well as offering pregnancy and English classes, and uh, going out on a nightly basis and building relationships. children's home that um, the kids were recovering from being trafficked and there were four girls and two boys. We didn't get to see them the whole time but um, we just kind of worked there helping out um, around and um, we went and had a tour and when we went upstairs um, we got to see their rooms and it was really hard. I couldn't go into the girls girls and there's like princesses all over and um, stuffed animals on the bed and it just like broke me and it was really hard um, to go in at first just thinking of the little girls like they had to be like six or seven years old or I think seven was the youngest but um, went in there and then um, just like it was kind of nice after um, just seeing how they're treated like princesses and their rooms were like so nice. Dude, this girl, her thumb was locked up and we just prayed over it in Jesus' name and she can move it now. It's not locked up anymore and it's just crazy. We just jumped oh, into it. Oh my goodness. God, it was so cool. And what about the last girl, Evelyn? She, she couldn't feel anything in her legs and now she can. And oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah. How do you feel? So good. Oh, so good. Oh, her thumb, dude. She's moving her thumb.
Oh, that's crazy. Ah, God is so good. Heal it. So cool. Healing in Jesus' name. What can you do? Can you do that? Okay, you can do that. Okay. Really weak. Yeah. Really weak. God will make them strong. What just happened? She accepted God. Accept Jesus. Yay! Yay! She is safe now. She's the daughter of the king. Amen. How do you feel? Ask her how she feels. Happy. Very happy, y'all.